Hi everybody, this is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care. I'm gonna share with you my top five things that you should do before you have shoulder surgery. Number one, the biggest thing I think you should do before surgery is prepare. This seems obvious, but there's so many things that you could be doing around your house to prepare for after you have your shoulder surgery. So things like opening jars um, are gonna be really difficult to do. So if somebody could go through and loosen them for you, or perhaps you could do that before your surgery, that will make your life a lot easier when you're trying to prepare food for yourself or you know do things around the house. This also goes for getting um, items that may be beneficial to you, such as this electric jar opener or an electric bottle opener. These items can definitely help you around the house, but you also wanna think of other things such as pillows, getting yourself some extra pillows, uh, or perhaps a recliner, having borrowing a recliner, or maybe it's time to get that recliner that you wanted because you're really gonna want to make sure that you are very, very comfortable after your recovery and to sleep. It can be really, really difficult when you have a shoulder surgery to get very comfortable to sleep. And sleep is such a big part of the recovery process. So again, it's so important to make sure you prepare with items perhaps that can help you with feeding yourself, but also with sleeping too. So that takes me into number two, and that is shower right before you have surgery because you are not gonna be able to shower right after you have surgery. Most of the time they have some pre-operative instructions and they don't want you to use a bunch of scented lotions and soaps and things like that. But I do really recommend to make sure you shower right before you have the surgery because the next time you might actually be able to take a full shower, it could be a while because you're not going to be able to get your incision wet. Now, a way to to get around that, you could do a few things. Uh, you could get a handheld shower head and that can be really helpful so that at least you can kind of wash your lower body and maybe even wash a little bit of your hair. I also recommend to get a dry shampoo and I'll link below of this shampoo. I love this dry shampoo. That's probably going to be your friend while you're recovering from a a shoulder surgery because you're not really going to be able to wash your hair. So dry shampoo can be a lifesaver when you're not able to bring your hand up to your head. Also, baseball hats are gonna be really important to have around because, well, if you can't wash your hair, um, you may just wanna throw a baseball hat on. Now, if you are lucky enough to where you can actually get into the shower, then you are gonna to wanna to make sure that your incision is properly covered. And so that takes me to number three, and that is to make sure that you have all of your wound care or incision care supplies prior to having your surgery. Because the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go searching around town or ordering something that's gonna take several days to get to your house. Now, a lot of the time, the doctor's office will give you a few items that you can go home with, but you're gonna to want to have a few things on hand as well, such as gauze or a Tegaderm. I really like Tegaderm films, like the one that I have on here, because it is waterproof. As long as it is covering your incision all the way around, it can really be a great waterproof solution so that you can take a shower without worrying about getting your incision wet. And I'll put a link of Tegaderm films that are of appropriate size for shoulders in the description below. And with that, you may also want to look a little farther down the road and possibly purchase a scar pad so that you have something to wear on your scar after your incision is healed. Now, my tip number four of things you should do before you have shoulder surgery is to get a few shirts that are of bigger sizes or perhaps some button downs. It can be very difficult to put on your normal clothes if you have a, a bulky dressing on from the type of surgery that you had or you're very swollen or you're also very sore because you're not gonna be able to lift your arm like you normally do. So getting a looser shirts, baggier shirts, perhaps sizing up or getting button down shirts can be a little bit uh, more manageable while you are recovering because you're not gonna be able to move your arm in the way that you were used to before. Now I do also have a video that I can link here of where I show you how you can 
take a shirt off and also put a shirt on safely after you have a shoulder surgery. And then my last tip number five, that is to practice. So number one was to prepare and prepare your environment and prepare your home, but also you want to practice one-handed techniques. So whichever arm you're going to be having the surgery on, you're gonna to wanna to practice some of those necessities, some of those things that are very important for us to do on a daily basis. You're gonna to wanna to practice that one-handed and with that hand. For all of you uh, that are having surgery on the dominant arm, well, you're really gonna to wanna to practice using your non-dominant arm for things like, you know, using the bathroom, all those other kind of activities that we do, perhaps of writing, uh, typing, you know, using your phone, um, all kinds of activities. I definitely recommend trying to practice a little bit of one-handed technique so you can kind of just get used to it rather than right after your surgery, just getting thrown into it when you're already, you know, in pain and, and recovering and having all kinds of other things to deal with. Now, some other things that may be helpful too is you have enough water for fluid intake and then you also have some high fiber foods around um, because if you're gonna be taking some uh, medications, some pain medications, those do have some side effects that are not so desirable. And so you definitely wanna try to counteract that by staying hydrated and eating some high fiber type of foods as well. Let me know in the comments below if that helps you. And if you found this video helpful, do give it a like. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.